absent mother, master manipulator, and a massive $100 million fortune? Gone! From white lies to jaw-dropping schemes, Jules got a serious case against her own mom. Losing the fantasy of the family that I wanted was probably the most heartbreaking Isn't aspect. Jewel rose to fame in the mid-90s with her first hit, Who Will Save Your Soul? But she traveled a long and difficult road before she found success. She grew up in rural Alaska with her father, Ats Kilcher, who was abusive to Jewel and her brothers. At a young age, Jewel performed at bars with her father, who taught her how to yodel. When she was a teen, she scored a partial scholarship to Interlochen Arts Academy in Michigan. And after graduating, she headed to San Diego to pursue her music career. She struggled for a year, living in her van and battling illness. But she persisted, playing in bars and building up a fan base. Her hard work paid off, and she signed with Atlantic Records, releasing her first album, Pieces of You, in 1995. As Jewel's career took off, she hired her mother, Lenedra Carroll, as her business manager. But years later, she realized her mother had been stealing money from her in astronomical amounts. On the Very Well Mind podcast, the singer revealed that the mild-mannered Carol had embezzled an amount totaling more than $100 million. Jewel recalled, 34 years old, realized I'm $3 million in debt, realized my mom stole it. She then admitted she had to accept that she had been completely unaware of her mom's true colors. She also described how her mother would have her stare at a light bulb for hours, telling her that her mind was powerful enough to turn it off if she tried hard enough. But Jewel noted, What it actually was was my mom didn't want to stay there and be with me, and she babysat me by having me watch light bulbs. Jewel had previously touched on the subject of her mother in her memoir, Never Broken. Songs are only half the story. Writing, I found out that not only was all my money gone, but I was several million dollars in debt. The same year I came to believe that my mom, who was also my manager, was not the person I thought she was. Since learning of the betrayal, Jewel severed all ties with Carol. But even though she's opened up about the circumstances as of late, it's not the first time she shared her estrangement from her mother. In 2015, she told HuffPost that she hadn't talked to her mother since 2010. As she wrote in her book, I can't tell you the tears I've cried to see who my mom really is. I can't tell you about the pain and how my heart to this day screams to have a mom in my life, but I know that it is not safe with her. Every day I miss having a mom, but I don't miss Nedra. That relationship was really intense and having her come back in my life uh, meant a lot to me and I needed it. And I think that need for love is really what blinded me. Jewel also wrote about how Carol supported her in her career, but also ended up being a master manipulator. And looking back, the pieces of the puzzle came together. On the Very Well Mind podcast, the singer explained that her parents divorced when Jewel was only eight years old. Having gone to live with her dad, she recalled, Nobody told me it's because my mom didn't want to be a mom. She left us, and so my dad took over raising us. So I didn't know that at the time. But because her father was a violent alcoholic and her mother wasn't, Jewel claimed it made her mom seem like a good parent in comparison. Still, despite the revelations about her history, Jewel doesn't aim to villainize her family. She told the San Diego Union Tribune in 2015, My mother and father are just human, not all good or bad. We've accepted each other's lives. And what I tried to show is, by doing so, you can do a lot with that. Our hearts and pain don't have to define us, except in ways we choose. It's a gift to forgive, to let go and say, I'm okay, I'm not broken, I've been betrayed, but I'm not betraying anyone.